Hi everybody and welcome to Sync Apps, another walkthrough Wednesdays. And I welcome you all to our first webinar for September. And for this month, we will be focusing on MailChimp integrations. To start MailChimp integrations for September, we will be talking about Salesforce to MailChimp integration with Sync Apps. So I'm Joanna and I'll be your host for today. And with me is our support team for any questions that you might have. You can always ask them through the chat box and they'll be happy to help you out. Also, please be reminded that this webinar is currently being recorded for marketing purposes. So to start, what we'll be having for today is a little bit overview of Salesforce to MailChimp major features. I'll be also demoing and how you can integrate Salesforce and MailChimp using SyncApps. And of course, the benefits that you will be having by getting integrated with SyncApps. The pricing, other SyncApps features, and a question and answer portion. So Salesforce to MailChimp is actually one of our top integrations today. It is highly, we have a high number of subscribers and leads for this integration. So the major features that we offer for Salesforce to MailChimp are the following. So firstly, you can sync and remove an unlimited number of accounts, contacts, and leads to your MailChimp list groups or their new feature, which is tags. Second, you can filter and sync specific records that you have set in a specific criteria from your CRM records. So we have a separate um, webinar on filtering and segmentation, and that is already um, about Salesforce to MailChimp. So our support team will be sending you a a link via the chat box button. So thirdly, our integration, of course, also syncs Salesforce custom checkbox fields to your MailChimp list or group segmentation feature. This is very helpful if you have specific contacts that is subscribed to different MailChimp lists that you have for your email marketing campaigns. We also have a different webinar and that specific feature. Fourthly, we have a feature that you can connect multiple CRM instances to multiple MailChimp accounts. And lastly, you can retrieve all of your email campaigns together with their campaign responses or their campaign metrics in MailChimp and create an activity for each campaign response that you have over in Salesforce. We also have a separate webinar that focuses on campaign responses and all of those will be linked down in the chat box. So how can you easily integrate Salesforce to MailChimp? So let's say I have an email campaign in Salesforce, namely Salesforce to MailChimp email campaign. And in this email campaign, I have three campaign members. I want this to be synced into my MailChimp account as a MailChimp list. How do I do that with SyncApps? It's very easy and very simple. Firstly, once you are on board with SyncApps, all you have to do is create a sync profile so a sync profile is just a sync apps in-house term for the integration itself. In step one, you will just have to input your Salesforce credentials, such as your username, the password, and especially the security token. Nextly, you will just have to select a specific object type to sync. So one sync profile is equivalent to one object type. If needing to sync multiple object types, then multiple sync profiles must be created for that. So in my case, I want to sync contacts from Salesforce to MailChimp. 
scrolling down below, I will be enabling the checkbox which is sync campaign or list members to MailChimp group. What this will do is my Salesforce campaign, which I have shown earlier, the Salesforce to MailChimp campaign, will be integrated into MailChimp as a group. So as I select a specific campaign to sync, I am given available options, or these are the active campaigns that I have over in Salesforce, that I'd, I would like to sync to MailChimp. So in my case, it is Salesforce to MailChimp. Please be noted that all of the campaigns displayed and exposed here in the pop-up are those active campaigns that you have in Salesforce. So you must double check first that the campaign that, you, that you'd like to integrate or to sync is active in Salesforce. Nextly, as I scroll to step two, all I have to do is input the API key and input a master list. So this master list will become a MailChimp list over in MailChimp where your records from Salesforce will be integrated into. So in my case, I have named it SyncApps Salesforce to MailChimp. It is also important that this master list is already existing in your MailChimp account. If not, if you don't have a master list already, please be sure that you create one in your MailChimp account before you input that master list name in step two of your sync profile. Nextly, you will have to select a segmentation method. Now, MailChimp has had a new feature, which is their tags, which um, before, previously they called it the static segment, and now they have called it tags. So if you have, or you, if you prefer the MailChimp groups, you can do so, and SyncApps will create different groups for the different campaigns that you have in Salesforce. And if you'd like to use tags, then SyncApps will automatically create the tag in MailChimp for you. Once that is done, you can then press on the Sync Now button for the sync process to be completed. You can then see your reports if your integration with Salesforce to MailChimp has been successful. Reviewing in MailChimp, I can now see that my Salesforce contacts has been successfully integrated from Salesforce to MailChimp. And that is it. That is how easy it is to sync your Salesforce records to your MailChimp lists using Sync app. So, what are the benefits of getting integrated with Sync Apps? Of course. Firstly, you can track the total number of subscribers to your newsletters. This is very important for any marketing campaigns that you have for your business needs. Next, you can track the progress on your most recent email campaigns. Aside from having sent sent out an email campaign to your subscribers, it is important to track the progress or the campaign metrics of your email campaigns. Thirdly, you can also keep track of your contacts and fans with a few touches. Fourth, Salesforce contact and lead details are synced to MailChimp. Of course, you will also, be, you will also never have to manually true up your lists again. So with Sync Apps, it's important for us to keep your lists updated and fresh, and that is the most, the number one benefit of getting integrated with Sync Apps. So if you need a more um, dedicated phone support, you can always book a one-on-one -on -one dedicated phone call with our sales engineers. For a better overview on your integration requirements, and setting up with your Salesforce to MailChimp integration. You can always book us at kazumi.com slash services, and one of our sales engineers will be happy to help you out with your integration requirements. So, how about pricing? Our Salesforce to MailChimp integration is available in our professional plan and enterprise plan. So in the professional plan, we have a flexible syncing 
which she can sing on 6, 10, 12, or 24 hour intervals with sync on demand feature. On the enterprise plan, we offer real time syncing with custom services and scheduled phone support. So that's how easy it is to sync your Salesforce to MailChimp with Sync Apps. Easy and fast, right? So do you have any questions for us? So at the chat box, we have had a question that when syncing email results back to Salesforce, what are the pros and cons of using sync type campaign only versus campaign and campaign member? Well, campaign only would mean that we would only sync the campaign name and the campaign metrics to Salesforce. Um, one of the pros for this one is um, it would save you storage on Salesforce. We understand that Salesforce storage might be um, highly expensive for um, small to medium businesses. So that's why we have that option. And the campaign and campaign member option um, is a little bit more on control and management on the contacts that have um, reviewed uh, your email marketing campaigns um, from MailChimp. So that is one of the pros for both. Another question is, does this work with a professional edition or only enterprise and above? That's a great question because um, yes, Salesforce, uh, Sync Apps does work with Salesforce professional and enterprise editions. For professional, okay. for professional edition um, Salesforce accounts, um, just please double sure, double sure that you have API enabled for your Salesforce account for any integration with Sync Apps. You can always ask your Salesforce consultant to enable that API for you and if they have a specific fee that you must um, purchase first before they can enable that. And once you have that API key, you can then integrate with Sync Apps for your Salesforce to MailChimp integration. Another question we have is, um, explain the setting, do not sync new MailChimp subscribers to Salesforce. It's one-way sync. So I have two sync profiles, both related to one master list, but I'd like two-way syncs for each profile. Is this not possible? We just have that advanced setting that is a checkbox option in step two, wherein um, you can choose to not sync any subscriber from MailChimp to Salesforce. But if you would like a two-way sync, then you would definitely need to skip that checkbox. And, and so that um, Sync Apps can do a bi-directional sync for you. If you just want your records from Salesforce to MailChimp, then you would need to check that checkbox. But since you want a two-way sync, then you, there is no need to uh, check that feature in step two. For any further questions, you can always send us a message at support at kazumi.com and our 24-7 support team will be happy to help you out with any questions that you may have. You can always, you can also book us a dedicated phone call at kazumi.com slash services and book our sales engineers for a one-on-one -on -one demo on Salesforce to MailChimp integration. So for any further questions that we have in the chat box, I believe that our support team will be happy to help you out um, by, by furthering answer it through a support ticket and after this webinar or demo, we will be um, continuing our chat via support. So just reach out to us at support at kazumi.com and our 24-7 support team will be happy to answer that questions for you. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us for another successful webinar, and I hope to see you again next time. 
as we will be hosting someone from Redpath, one of our partners for Salesforce to MailChimp integrations, and I hope you have a good day ahead. Thank you and goodbye.